It's a story we first brought to you two years ago. A baby found dead outside of a clinic after investigators say it initially survived an abortion attempt. Today, the politics of abortion took center stage during a funeral. Tommy Amos joins us now from the newsroom with more on this story. That's right, DeMarco and Jackie. It was a funeral, but at times it felt more like an anti-Obama pro-life rally. Inside of that tiny casket sits a big mystery that has anti-abortion groups and the state attorney's office searching for answers. The casket was the centerpiece of a public funeral held for the fetal remains found by police in a highly abortion clinic. Anti-abortion activist and former presidential candidate Dr. Alan Keyes delivered the eulogy, at one point saying he had no problem talking politics during a funeral. That the Lord didn't tell us to seek first the Democrat Party or the Republican Party. Didn't even tell us to seek first the American Constitution. He said to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The Reverend O'Neill Dozier pastors the Pompano Beach Church where the service was held. He used his time behind the pulpit to slam Senator Barack Obama. Stood up and argued and kill a bill that was designed to protect a baby born alive after a botch abortion. In response, the Obama campaign released this statement. In their words, accusing a loving father of two beautiful girls of wanting to kill babies isn't just wrong on the facts, it's the most disgusting and manipulative kind of hate politics around. Back in church, Secloria Williams, the young woman who had the abortion, sat in the front pew. She had this to say to everyone at the service. Thank you. Williams says she delivered a living baby. Police only found the remains. The state attorney's office calls it a serious technical investigation. A pro-life legal organization is funding a civil suit against the clinic. This is based on an anonymous caller who is really the reason why all of this surfaced. Somebody that apparently worked at that clinic couldn't take what they had seen that day and called the police. Now the pro-choice group Planned Parenthood did not want to comment on this story. The clinic in question is no longer in operation in Hialeah. We could not reach their owners for comment. Reporting live from the no newsroom, I'm Tom Yamas, South Florida, Nightly News. Well, it took